Greetings family, peace, love, and positive thinking. This is Guru. Thanks for joining my channel. Protesters gather after Los Angeles police fatally shoot yet another man following a car chase. An angry crowd gathered in South Los Angeles Saturday after police officers shot and killed a man at the end of a car chase. Police Sergeant Barry Montgomery said officers tried to pull over a car with paper plates, a possible sign the vehicle had been stolen. Well, family, before I continue, I just want to point out that, of course, had they been white with paper plates, the officers would assume that they were driving in what? A new car. But with black people, having paper plates, of course, they have to feel that you stole the car. See the difference? Anyways, I digress. The driver refused to stop and police began a pursuit. He said the passenger got out of the car at some point and ran into the back of a house where he was shot. The driver fled the scene and remained on the loose. The shooting drew several dozen people to the scene. A small group of pro protesters gathered behind yellow police tape blocking the shooting scene Saturday night, shouting at officers in riot helmets. Relatives of the dead man identified him as 18-year-old Carnell Snell Jr. And they told the Los Angeles Times he was killed on the same street where he lived. Trinell Snell, 17, said she was outside with friends when she saw her older brother running from police. She said she started running too and that she hit the ground when she heard gunfire. When she got up, her brother was on the ground handcuffed, she said. Quote, at the end of the day, the cops came and shot my brother, she said. Killed my brother. Snell's mother told reporters she asked authorities to let her see the dead man to confirm whether he was her son, but they wouldn't allow her to do so. Now, that I find interesting because usually that's the first thing they want done is for a family member to identify the body. But yet, when it comes to black people, they have to throw the nigger rule in there. And I'm not talking about the black people being the niggas. I'm talking about the white people being niggas. They have to throw their nigger rule in there and then treat us that way. Local activist Earl Ofari Hutchinson called upon LAPD officials and the police commission to, quote, conduct an intense review of department policies on the use of deadly force, unquote. Why do they have to review it? It doesn't make sense. We're so sick of this. It's the same old shit. Quote, anyways, this is, um, quote, this is a, re a critical point in relations between the police and South L.A. residents given the rising incidence of deadly uh, force and suspect um, in suspect and civilian encounters, he said. The demonstration is the latest sparked by a series of fatal shootings of black men by t p police in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Charlotte, and North Carolina. This past week, an unarmed black man was fatally shot by police in the San Diego suburb of El Cajon, triggering days of angry, sometimes unruly protests. And again, these are the results of white supremacy. The backlash, the rioting, and everything you see that you don't like that black people are doing, just remember, white people, that you started this, that this is something that your uh, police departments have initiated. Just remember that. This is the result. Where there's an action, there's always a reaction. And this is what you're seeing as a result of the actions of rogue and unruly, inhumane, uncivilized, barbaric so-called police officers wearing blue uniforms and wearing scraps of metal. So with that family, I'm just going to end this video here.
I heard you down there, but that won't happen for a little bit. So, uh, I, but can I get her safely to my house? Then I know I can keep her in there. Because mm -hmm. when we us sitting out here and uh, everybody right here, it's not going to work. It's going to be working for you guys. Yeah, and you're telling me how to cover it. Family, this is Carnell C.J. Snell Jr., 18 years old, who is no longer with us on this plane. There's five facts that I'm going to read to you based on this article before I end this vlog. Number one, Carnell's former teacher said he was trying to make her day every day. He was trying and made her day every day. I'm sorry. Okay, number two is the police said the shooting of Snell occurred after a pursuit of a stolen vehicle and a gun was recovered at the scene. Well, number one is you still don't kill someone because of a stolen vehicle and you still don't kill someone because a gun is recovered at the scene. When is the police going to stop using that horrible narrative to justify their excessive use of their powers. When are we going to take this cause up with the United Nations and make this an international situation where white Americans have to and need to account for this genocide that they're placing on black Americans? It is due way past time. You can't just keep killing us and expect us to do nothing. That's dumb. It's ignorant. That's stupid. And you guys doing what you're doing and acting stupid like we don't know, that's dumb too. But I digress. I'm going to number three. Number three, Snell's grief stricken mother begged to see Snell at the scene. Well, I just played that video for you a minute ago and you saw the mother is sitting there having to beg these white people to see her son's dead body. I, I, this is just so pathetic and it's so unreal. If prayers could be answered, I wish God would come down to this planet Earth and wipe out every single white racist on this planet wipe them all away you heard what I said I said white racist if you're not a white racist then I'm not talking about you but God forbid if your parents are I wish God would get rid of them too all of you off of this planet earth because you don't deserve to be on a planet with other human beings not you white racist now you other white people that are good people I'm not talking about you so don't get it twisted. Unless your feet fit in those shoes, just shut up. Because you're, you're, you're not saying anything and you're not helping the cause. You're, as a matter of fact, you're being part of the problem by being silent. So just be quiet. So, number four. Angry crowds were starting to gather outside of the, at the scene. Well, that's to be expected, right? Number five is three other California police shootings have also provoked recent outrage. This is Alfred Alongo, who was shot and killed in uh, San Diego, California. And once again, at the hands of so-called police officers wearing blue uniforms and scrap metals on their uniforms. This, These are black brothers and sisters who at their hands their blood is soaked on their uniforms so family with number five um, three other California police shootings have also provoked recent outrage it is just unreal that from the west coast to the east coast north to south we're having racial issues in what's so-called the United States of America. We are hardly united and we're at a crossroads that needs to be addressed. 
and our president is spelling. He's got a F. With that said, thanks for watching family. Peace, love, and positive thinking. Like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thanks a lot.